Hey guys, it's Faith Duo. Back with another video. <laughs> we hadn't been here in a while. You know, we've been we traveling around, here. moving. Today, we thought we'd talk about prayer and give you a how-to video. <laughs> what you how to pray. All right, so first, like, um, what is it? How or what? Where do we need to pray? How do we need to pray? Well, first, we let's cover that what? you pray through Jesus to God. You're praying to God through Jesus. Yep. And, you know, it talks about Jesus being the advocate for us. So that's why we pray through him. Right. Okay. So then let's talk about where do you pray? Because first you got to find where you want to pray at. So where do you pray? I pray everywhere. 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 And I used to not be that way. I think I mentioned this in one video. I, I was in a class and they were talking about if you put God in every you know, in every situation that you have, if you're praying to him about every single thing, then you know God's hand is involved in everything that you do. Right. So, yeah. everywhere. So, in your car, in the bathroom. In the bed. Off in the, the shower. <laughs> off the bed. <laughs> at work, while people are talking to you. Whoa. <laughs> For real, because sometimes you need help of... You know, dear Lord, please help me know what to say in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Hopefully you, know you do I mean? that before you get... But, no, I mean, I guess sometimes it, you need it. You don't know Yeah, Because yeah, somebody guess. might strike you and say something mid-conversation. Okay. Like, what you just said? <laughs> and, you know, in your head. But then you give out a good delivery because you prayed about it. Right? So everywhere. Everywhere. And you can pray with your eyes open. Yes, you can. Please do that you know, if you're praying in the car, please. Especially if you're praying in the car. So it says pray without ceasing. So we have to pray all the time, everywhere, every situation. So right. it's a part of our lives and who we are. And that's what God wants because he's our father. And being a father, he wants us to come to him in everything. That's true because I want my kids to talk to me about everything. I always try to talk to rap about how can I be cool? So, you know, like I want to be the parent, the strict parent, but at the same time, I want to be like, you know, still vibing, you know what I mean? Still cool. No, just vibing. Good just vibe. vibing. So, I mean, I'm cool regardless. Like, yeah. that's how you know someone's cool when they don't need nobody to tell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next thing is. Uh, what do we say? What? do we say in our prayers? Well, Jesus made a prayer for us. Matthew 6, Jesus makes an example model prayer for us. So, um, you know, he talks about God being our father and he needs to be uh, reverent or revered. So he addresses God as the father who we're talking to. So always speak with respect because you are talking to your creator. Right, and we also need to have God's will in mind because it's not our will, but God's will will be done. So always have God's will in our mind and pray that we are doing God's will. Right. And um, I guess this is more, uh, I guess this part is more about how to pray because it's like you should pray with respect and you should also remember that um, God is your heavenly father, like literally everybody's father. And he he gave his son for you so he loves you more deep than anybody ever could so when you talk to him it needs to be you know kind of like a humbling experience you need to just be vulnerable is basically what i'm trying to say is like be vulnerable and you know like it's okay to cry in prayers and stuff like that so right because you should be open your yeah, heart should be open exactly. and you should be vulnerable right yeah. I mean, and, that's why, you know, the they prayed with their you know, heads down, um, faces down to the ground, spread out. That's yeah. what we need to do. Like, your outside matches your inside. Right. I agree. And that's another thing to cover is on how to 
pray is, you know, the position you should be in. Some people think you have to be on your knees. But sometimes, you know, I get on my knees when I'm most desperate, you know, like, and sometimes, like, I'll lay on the bed with my face down. Yeah, I think that's sometimes, a good practice, too. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when you're really trying to talk to God about something, something that means so much to you, you need to, you know, show basically your reverence to the, your respect and um, show that you're giving it all to him. And, you know, body language is very important. In, in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just say that. Okay. And lastly, it would be about what to say. So what would you say? So I think we need to pray, especially for our needs. You know, we come, or every day we have something going on. So God wants us to come to him. We tell him what we need um, according to his will. And, you know, he's going to help us, but praying for our needs. Right. And um, Also forgiveness. Yeah. Uh, okay. Forgiveness. We need to ask for forgiveness of sin, um, but also we need to be able to forgive others. Um, because how can we ask for forgiveness if we're not willing to forgive? Exactly, exactly. And we should, you should be asking for forgiveness probably about every prayer, you yeah, know, because it's... Yeah, we all have bad thoughts every single second. So many yeah. thoughts in our mind uh, that race through every single minute. Um, but every something that we say may offend somebody. Um, and you might not know, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. You just have to be careful and you just need to be humble and ask God for forgiveness and keep you right on the right track. Oh, for others, for others needs, you need to pray for others always. You know, you got to be thinking about, you know, God says we need to love others as we love ourselves. And then some verses he says we need to put others higher than ourselves, you know. So make sure you're praying for others and not just for yourself. Especially if you're having a problem with somebody. Like, don't just get mad about them. Pray for them. Because most of the time when people are mean or do something that offends you, it's because they got something going on. Yeah. So pray for them. All right. But make sure when you pray um, that it's not something against god's will we should just be praying for things that are according to his will that means things that are in you know nothing that's against the bible you know what i mean and you should always be striving for his will you know and what's at the top of his will is that we spread his gospel so make sure you're always praying for that and that's about it yep. Um, if you have any more suggestions or comments about it, leave them below. Uh, but we appreciate y'all watching. And if you have any ideas for what we should talk about next time, definitely drop those in the comments as well. All right. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Much love. Be the light.